23 spring training schedule. Park make it one to nothing quick. And we know how aggressive Kyle Tucker can be. As we see him reach down, grab some dirt, go through that routine again. Coach will join us top of the fifth. Tucker with a line drive into center field, and what a way to start. Kyle Tucker is being able to put together a great at bat at the top. Using it all before the first game of the spring to check it out. There, we didn't play any center field for over a month. This one taps slowly. It's going to be trouble. Trevor Williams. Harry Hill, a catcher, getting a chance to DH today. If you're wondering this facility with the Washington Nationals, Nationals home team today, possible double play ball, Jeter down. Jose Urquidy, you can see his career, his season numbers for 2020. year old now out of Mazatlan, Mexico, will pitch for Team Mexico, and he gets in on the hands of Lane Thomas, who hits a slow grounder. We just saw him, the former Cardinal, Corey Dickerson, the veteran outfielder, bat second, Jamer Kendall. That's here with nobody on and one out. He sends one into the corner and right 81 hitter. And he has a 50% of my notes for every spring training game. <laughs> Yesterday, I think I got to about the adjustment for us. It's going to be an adjustment for the frequency of pitches. And we always anticipated Urquidy would have that quick, have a healthy amount of notes left over that we're going to have to figure out when and where to use. Well, in the outfield, but foul down the left field line. Quicker, keep the hitter uncomfortable. And... That's one of the things that you'll hear from hitters making control of the at-bat as a hitter. Because you'll see guys like Michael Brantley step out, kind of... From the New York Mets, there goes the runner, the pitch is ball four, and the batter can call timeout once per at-bat. This is a pop-up foul, and it's going to be out of play. The one thing about the pitcher, you can disengage if you want to go through the signs again, but it doesn't... Although, again, with Urquidy, it really doesn't matter. Ground ball towards first, trying to turn two. Hensley to short for one today. That'll make Josh Miller happy. Pitching coach being a solid bullpen, but you're going into this spring with pretty much, you know, you lose Justin Verlander, but your rotation is in pretty good shape. Losing Justin Verlander is not a, not a good thing. It's not a comfortable thing for pitching coach, but, you know, we're well positioned and well suited. To Nationals got J.C. Correa to ground out to second, now facing the shortstop Shea Whitcomb. Today with the new general manager, Dana Brown, about the new pitch timer and how it's going to impact pitchers and industry. It's got to have a guy like Jose Urquidy doesn't factor in because he's always pitch fast for, for guys who normally ding and will have to adjust and go from there. You know, I think it does. It affected or settled things down in the second inning here. But, you know, I, I'd say that it's, it's good. We handled for five, six years. He's still just 24 years old. But give us a scouting report on him and maybe what you want to see from him. And been all signs positive so far. Jay Whitcomb with a 3-2 count gets called out. Attempts in the third one, either having to get the runner out or being a balk, is, is trying to control the run game as much as possible with limited pickoffs. Yeah, and strategies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting an echo here, and it's... There's a little bit different wrinkle where the pitcher could actually have the wristband on. Yes, in spring training, they have it so where the uh, the pitch... No, this guy can contribute and be a big part of our team, and that's certainly what they're looking for from what Urquidy has now, as he is a father, a brand-new father. One month ago, his baby girl was born, so he and Estefania, he said, big feelings to get... Awesome. What a winner for Jose Urquidy. Urquidy was going down to second. They took too much time before the batter was coming to the... But Urquidy not phased by it at all. Well, he's done his throwing four straight. He had a pitch up in the zone and missed a couple of fastballs up in the zone, and it looked almost as if the last inning that Urquidy with that clock up almost gets a little bit too quick. Although he's working, that body gets going a little bit ahead of the arm. You'll lead with that elbow. And ball with the bases empty. In fact, Urquidy threw six straight pitches for strikes, although this Nationals a 1-0 lead. Adams, who had five home runs last year, hits one out against him is an interesting study. Lance works very quickly with nobody on. And then with run quickly, bases empty and runners on as Jake Alou will be the better. They actually played together on a scout league team down in the San Diego, San Diego Connection. And Hensley went to San Diego State while Adams went to the U. Or Kitty in this inning. He won't be credited. Walk a guy with less than yeah, on three pitches. Right. Well, he didn't get phased by right-hander Yoan Adon. 14 starts last and in Rochester in AAA. First pitch swinging is Joe Perez. Sends a high fly ball to center field. Cesar Salazar is the batter. Planned for 17 games. Added another 40 playing now in his second spring training for the Astros and getting a chance to catch today. He's down to the count. It's amazing how fast Urquidy's inning went with three strikeouts and a home run. And now Adone trying to just kind of cool. One two pitch is grounded to the right side. That'll be played by Jake Abu. And Tucker's back in right for him. 
First pitch, swung on, popped up, could be trouble. Jake Myers coming. Lee. Throughout the course, Lee, another pitch, another way to get guys out. Corey Dickerson swings and run. Or Kitty walked one, but then he struck out throwing in the World Baseball Classic. Presley as well will be a lot of the guys, all the guys playing for their WBC homes as Dickerson slashes a foul out of play. Yeah, it really, he is game. And how about the entertainment value that Presley brings into games now? Not hit hard, but that can get to that ball quick enough. Now first and third for Jamer Candelario. Differences of any closer in the game for me. Yeah. What that he comes into, that was something that all of a sudden took a big playoffs. Pull the plug. We're not doing the light. Oh, and it turned into money. It turned into ACB Bucknor and we're at first base at the crew chief. Crazy new world. Pitchers are still learning the rules. I mean, right now, Dom pops one up. How about Presley after first? It's Luis Garcia. This ball punched into center. This has been a tough inning. He's making his pitches. He's getting weak contact with the weak. Now Victor Robles, the batter. It's this ball sharply, but on the getting the start in center field today. Chaz McCormick obviously himself against the White Sox in the ALDS, and he ends up with a clean single in the right field. In his hometown. That's a lot. Got some top spin, and just like last. Not rock. Uh, by request of Martin Maldonado. I was told. Ground ball to third. Over there, someone in Nashville saw it, got him in touch with. Works out a lot with his brother, Carlos. This ball in the right center field is going to tie the game as Jake, but he's in there with a double. And that's his one time out, and this at bat, so he has no shorter between bags than it was in the past. Yeah. One and two to Hensley. David Hensley gets into one to center field. That'll send Mookie Betts and David Price deal. It's a position to go out there and win a World Series against the team you played for the year previously. He allows Jared Jeter Downs to walk against Jose Urquidy. Runner going. The throw is just a... This ball hit hard to center, but right there is... J team Dominican Republic will have five Astros pitchers on their roster. Renel Blank here with Houston and even before that uh, with the Yankees and others. You have always been... That's why the, uh, they, you know, competing for a championship every year. Oh. Because they, Bummer, right now, they're just trying to get their timing, man. It's it just, you know, how quick can I go about my routine? 11 and a third scoreless innings. As he makes quick work of Stone Garrett, the new left. Where am I every time? Do you believe you guys can do it again? Of course. You, li you like platinum power? No, you like my, <laughs> I think you like mashed potatoes. At first, but you get used to it. Did you get enough dirt on your hands? Uh, no, I, I can't do anything anymore. <laughs> it's okay. Tuck's the best. All right, we'll talk about some of Tuck. Ground ball to short. This will be Christian Gonzalez getting his first chance. And that Trey Mancini deal, which involved, obviously, the Baltimore Orioles as well. And Murray looking good here. The ball hit pretty well to left, but lining it up is the new McCormick combining for four. And then Correa with a two RBI double. First at bat for you get a feel for what the pitcher is trying to do to you. And sometimes you can use that current pitch because there's some cerebral hitters out there that can pick you apart just by understanding. Middle Tennessee State. He's the guy that picked up the save yesterday. So, Aaron, if you or your family were at Palm Beach, and then we'll have that game at Sugar Land to round out our spring training schedule. Nice play on a one hop far as AAA for one start. Ball into left field and balloting. Pretty good pitch there. Tough at bat for Wagner, lefty on. To call some Garrett Stubbs games. How about CJ, his first at bat? Uh, one of your favorite go-to interviews? Oh, for sure. I have no idea where they're going. <laughs> I was serious. Major League guys don't usually hang around this early, this late in the game, to, to see them. Some inning with Urquidy in the second inning, and now we have our. And Jimmy Endersby. Yeah. That was more important to me. Well, it, like Urquidy. Not even phased. Uh, uh, something Major League Baseball hadn't factored in when they came up with these new rules. Excellent point. Oh, excuse me, that's Vega. Onyx Vega, the inning or not. And with the Nationals playing a split squad game today with staff that came over. Rings. Dana Brown was remarkable, but he was having an absolute.